Hello, ev <coughs> Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the Wicked Win Tournament and yes, it's going to be four matches per video in this first round. So in this video we are going to see Gojirasaurus taking on a Frovenator, Dilophosaurus vs Rugops, Ceratosaurus taking on Pianitskisaurus and Delta Dromius going up against Euteraptor. And without further ado, let's begin. But before we should begin, I should mention how these matchups will work. It'll be, it will be a best of three, so each, so these each matchup will be three matches unless the other guy, one guy wins two nil. And it's basically knockout, which I'm sure you all know, are familiar with at this point. So yeah, that's about it. So without further ado. Let's get on with the first matchup, which is Gojirasaurus versus a Frovenator. Alright, in the red corner, at first we have the Gojirasaurus. Ding. I, I, I'm kind of disappointed in this matchup, because I love I love Gojirasaurus and I love a Frovenator. And one of them's going to get knocked out early, right away. It sucks. But, oh, but there it is. Alright, in the blue corner we have the African Hunter, the Afrovenator. And watch out for that super powered tornado toss. One tornado toss could mean an early exit for the Gojirasaurus. Ooh, speaking of the devil, what a staff for the Afrovenator. Let's go Tornado Toss. Oh, look at that damage. Almost killed it. <laughs> um, well, yeah, this could be a quick match. Oh, oops, I moved the bloody thing. Hang on. Ooh, there's a tie. Gojirasaurus, though, is charge type, so it does do well in a tie, but, you know, it's it's kind of got no HP. But, a Sonic Blast incoming here. This could be what Gojirasaurus needs to make his comeback. Blow that Afrovenator away. Boosh. Not much damage dealt, and I forget what Sonic Blast does. I should really look that up. If you would like to know what all these bash Japanese moves do, I have a video of that, and I'll, 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 I'll try and remember to pin it up here. But, um, I pro I'll probably forget again like I did last time. Oh, a crit from the Gojirasaurus! Oh, what a... Oh, he's killed it! Oh, um, never mind. Gojirasaurus, despite being hammered by that tornado toss early on, wins round one! Right, let's move on with round two. Alrighty then, we're back for round two, and we don't need to go through these guys again because we went through them in the first round. Can the Afrovenator pull it back, or can the Gojirasaurus pull it up, pull off a 2 0 win? Ooh, the Afrovenator gets the first hit, and it's a skydive. Lowering the Gojirasaurus' technique there, that could help the Afrovenator, as it will lower the chances of Sonic Blast being activated. Ooh, however, the Gojirasaurus responds with a crit. A sizable amount of damage. Okay, maybe, maybe Sonic Blast lowers the opponent's defense. Because I feel like the Afrovenator took more damage last time. The um, Gojirasaurus got up a crit. So, yeah, I think, I think Sonic Blast might actually lower the defense. Lower defense or not, the Afrovenator is in massive trouble, but one Tornado Toss will even the score. Oh, that's a tie. Can the Afrovenator pull this back? Oh, he gets a hit. And it is a triple headbutt. Yum. Oh, again, it's another tight game and another 300 technique sapped away. Ooh, 
the Afrovenator. The Afrovenator even in the score. Which means we are tied at one apiece. The Gojirasaurus started well, but the Afrovenator pulled it back. And I think lowering Gojirasaurus' technique definitely stopped Gojirasaurus in getting off Sonic Blast. So, a very good display from the Afrovenator. But, you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this deciding round. Alrighty then, here we go, the deciding round between Gojirasaurus and Afrovenator. Who has that extra bit of energy in their legs? And who will fall here? Ooh, the Afrovenator getting off the first hit. And it's a triple headbutt. And this hit will also put Gojirasaurus in killing range of Tornado Toss. And that will always be helpful. And it lowers the technique, which probably won it for a Afrovenator in the second round. Oh, another hit from Afrovenator. Uh, is it gonna is it gonna be a sweep for the Afrovenator? Gojirasaurus not looking good. Ooh, but it does strike back with a crit. Bing, 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 bing. Based on the first two rounds, whichever dino was lead at getting off the first hits tends to lose. And that was the Afrovenator, so I feel like Gojirasaurus might win this match. Oh, that's a tie, is it enough? Yeah, that is sadly enough to kill off the Gojirasaurus and send a Frovenator through to the last 12. Sounds weird. We'll say quarterfinal. Well, Gojirasaurus is our first casualty of the win Wicked Wind Tournament and the Afrovenator is the first one to go through. That was quite a good matchup, wasn't it? Right, let's move on to our second match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see the Dilophosaurus taking on Rugops. Up first for the Dilophosaurus. Up I, I, I lost my train of thought there. Up first in the red corner we have a Dilophosaurus. And that Hurricane Beat could be deadly because this Dilo is counter type. And Hurricane Beat gets triggered after a loss. But. In the blue corner, we also have the Rugops, who also has a Hurricane Beat. And look how powerful that Hurricane Beat is. If Rugops gets that off, it could be a one-shot. Actually, I don't know. It might be, it might be one shot, but it'll be pretty close. Like, like the Tornado Toss and a Frovenator. It'll be pretty close. So I feel like the winner of this match will be the one that gets off their Hurricane Beat. Oh, that's a tie. That will suit the Rugops more, although the Rugops did take a bit of damage. But the Rugops is tie defense type. Yeah, look how powerful that crit is. And that's not Hurricane. That's not even Hurricane Beat. If that was Hurricane Beat, the Dilo might have been dead already. Ooh, Dilo going for it. And Dilo getting it! And the recovery. The Hurricane Beat from the Dilophosaurus. How much damage is this going to do? Oh, look at that. Loads of damage done. And look at that recovery. I mean, it's not going to matter if Rugops gets off Hurricane Beat, but, you know. Got to take what you can, can't you? Oh, the Rugops! The Rugops gets off the Hurricane Beat this time. And, unlike the Dilo... And unlike itself, the Dilo will not survive this. Yeah, not a chance on this planet. And look at that. They both got off their hurricane beats. But Rugops made better use of theirs. And takes out the Dilo. And takes a 1-0 lead. Ooh, that was a quick match, wasn't it? Not surprising, really, because of how powerful these two hurricane beats are. But let's move on with round two. 
Alrighty then, round two. With the Rugops in the lead, can the Dilo pull it back? Or can the Rugops take the 2 0 lead win? Ding, ding, ding. Do, do, do. Ooh, we start with a tie, but again, that's exactly exactly what the Rugops wants because of that tie attack. Ooh, the Dilophosaurus opens up with a hit, but that also means that Hurricane Beat will be triggered. And if the Rugops gets that Hurricane Beat off, it will be game over for the Dilo. But the Dilo knows that and goes for Rock. But the Rugops, one step ahead, goes for the paper. I have to go spam buttons. Shlippy shlop. Well, now Hurricane B will definitely kill the Dilo. And it can't use recovery because it didn't get hit by a crap. Oh, they both went for the Hurricane Beat. But a tie will do Rugops a world of good because of that tie attack. And the Rugops is tie defense type as well, so it won't take damage now from ties. Well, the Dilophosaurus will. And quick as a wink, the Rugops gets off the crucial hit and dispatches the Dilo with relative ease and books his place in the quarterfinal. Well, that was a quick match, wasn't it? <laughs> Dilo lasted about two seconds. The mighty Rugops, though, mightily impressive and will take on the Afrovenator in the quarterfinals. All right, then. On to our third match, then, shall we? All righty, then. In this matchup, we see the Ceratosaurus taking on Piantlitskisaurus. At first in the red corner, we have the Ceratosaurus. A fan favourite of a few here, but are you rooting for it to win this tournament? Well, it won't be easy for it because in the blue corner, we have probably the dark horse of the wind dinosaurs, the Piantnitskisaurus. That poison type will definitely come in handy if the Piantnitskisaurus gets far in this tournament. But why is Ceratosaurus so tiny? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's such a rat, little ratty thing, and yet it's, it, I'd say make, make it a little bit bigger. It should be a little bit bigger. I mean, it should really be on par with the Afrovenator. But oh well, I digress. I, 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 ne I never credited Dinosaur King for being accurate. But back to the match. The Ceratosaurus opens up with the first hit of the match. Ooh, the Ceratosaurus is getting off another hit. And it is an atomic bomb. I should put it on Blue Uteraptor. Actually, no, it's not compatible. Never mind. Oh, lots of damage done there. And, ladies and gentlemen, has the Ceratosaurus won the first round? <laughs> and indeed he has in two hits. In a blink of an eye, the Ceratosaurus dispatches the Piantnitskisaurus and takes a 1-0 lead. Wow, I think, I think we're going to be in for some quick matches in this tournament, the way this is going. But anyway, let's move on with round two. Alrighty then, round two. And, well, will the Ceratosaurus get hit in this match? Can the Piantnitskisaurus survive? Or will the Ceratosaurus get a 2-0 white one? Well, take a 2-0 win. Come on, Piantnitskisaurus, get a hit. Let's hope the Pianitskisaurus gets a hit. So we just have a slightly interesting match. Hey, the Pianitskisaurus got a hit this time. And it's a dino swing. Will the Pianitskisaurus land the poison as well? Indeed he does. And that will help him out massively. The Ceratosaurus finally taking a hit this match. Oop, that's a tie. And that's exactly what Pianitskisaurus wants because of that poison. Well, it, it, it wants a hit, but, you know, a tie, it don't mind a tie in this situation. Oh, another hit from the Pianitskisaurus. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a power drain. Spam the buttons. 
Oh, just like in the first round where the Ceratosaurus got off two pets, the Pianitsky-saurus is showing no mercy this time. Oh, and that's a tie. Oh, the Ceratosaurus almost dead and buried. And yet, that tie will finish off the Sarah and even the score. Wow, two quick fire rounds there between these two. With the winners of each dominating the, the, the respective matchups. And you know what that means? It all comes down to this next round. Oh, it's all going to come down to this between these two fast and furious fighters here. The Ceratosaurus and the Pianitsky-saurus. But which one has a little bit more speed left in the tank? And whichever one does will win this matchup and book their place in the quarterfinal. Oh, that's a tie. Uh, I don't know. I, might, I, might, I think the Pianitsky Saurus took slightly less damage, so ties might suit it. However, that will suit the Ceratosaurus. An atomic bomb. Oh, wow. A decent amount of damage there. I forgot. What type is this Cerato? It might be heroic type. Yeah, I think it's heroic type, this Serato. That's why the atomic bomb did more damage there. Oh, has the Ceratosaurus won? Actually, yeah, I think it has won. The Pianitsky Saurus, quite surprisingly, I'd say I thought it'd do well in this tournament, has been eliminated. The Ceratosaurus quickly dispatching of the Pianitsky Saurus there and booking his place in the la in the last 12, aka the quarterfinal. Well, that was a quick match, wasn't it? Uh, it, it, it? It was okay, because, you know, it was back and forth. You know, the Sarah won, the Pianitsky won, and then the Serata won. You know, it, was, it was okay, it was okay. But but we got one more match to go, so let's get on with it. Alrighty then. In this math final match of this video, we see the Delta Dromius take on the Uteraptor. At first in the red corner, we have everyone's favourite blue rivered runner, the Delta Dromius. Well, he's my favourite. Well, he's my favourite blue, funny, yellow crusted river runner. It'll be tough though, because in the blue corner we have a fan favourite in this in these tournaments and in the franchise, the Uteraptor. Not to be underestimated, this Uteraptor. As it can be deadly. Can the Delta Dromius make it a clean sweep for the bronzes? Or can the Uteraptor pull up a fight? Oh, well, so far we've got a tie. And that will suit the Uteraptor, even though it did take more damage because of that blunder type. Actually, I don't know. I might might suit dealt the Dromius more because because it dealt more damage. Not much damage dealt though there though, and there's the Dino Illusion being triggered. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, there's the Blunder type again. Oh no, not Blunder type. It's funny Move Breaker. It's Idiot Stranger. Know the moves. Yeah, that's another hit for the dealt the Dromius, but. The Dino Illusion is going to stop the Uteraptor from taking damage. Like, God, Stranger, you call, you, you, you call yourself a tournament host, you don't even know what the bloody moves are. Oh, that's another tie. Move Breaker doing its work, but the Uteraptor really needs to get off the head, and ties are not cutting it right now. And nope, the Uteraptor I don't think got off a single hit in that matchup. And no doubt the Dromius, impressively dispatching of the Ute defeat and winning round one. Oh my god. Oh my god, just looking at his underbelly. Even his underbelly is like a bloody planet. Oh, that thing's going to be fun to make. Not. Alrighty then, let's move on with round two. Alrighty then, round two between these ferocious wind dinosaurs. K 
Can the Doubt the Dromius continue to dominate, or can the Uteraptor pull this back? Do, 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 do. Mix it! That's a four? Oh, nope, nope, the Doubt the Dromius getting off the first hit. Uteraptor still hasn't got a hit in this match. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered there, so that will help the Uteraptor fight their way back into this match. Wow. Yeah, looking at Delta Dromia, it's not going to be an easy skin to make, because, you know, his pattern is so erratic and very... I mean, I could do the blending. I can do that fine. And, and even the underbelly is not going to be a fun one to make. But I want to make it anyway, because I like I love Delta Dromia. I love its design. Oh, here comes the hit, but that Dino Illusion will stop the Uteraptor from taking any damage. Uteraptor does have the slight lead here, but can it hold on to it? Oh, it's not just going to hold on to it, it's going to extend it. I doubt the Dromius getting hit again, and one more hit should do it for the Uteraptor. Okay, now it'll be definitely be one hit from the Uteraptor will do it, but a crit from the Delta Dromius, and they can snatch this match. Oh, that's another tie. Ties will favour Uteraptor now, because it does have more health. Oh, the Uteraptor! Getting off that crucial hit, finishing off the Delta Dromius, and even in the score. Doom, doom. Oh, you know what that's going to mean? It's all going to come down to this third round. Alrighty, and the final round between these two. Who has just, who has enough fuel left in the tank to pull themselves over the line? And who will fall? <laughs> you can like, whatever, whatever. whatever. Ooh, the Uteraptor opens up with the first hit. I doubt the Dromius not looking as impressive as it did in the first round between these two. Ooh, however, the Doubt the Dromius does strike back with a hit of his own. But the Uteraptor does have the slight lead. Ooh, not anymore. And the Velociraptors are coming in for critical block. Which, well, you know what that means. The Delta Dromius' move next round will be Rock. Because, yes, I will be doing move nullification the same way I did in my Grand Tournament. So in this instance, the Delta Dromius will be going for Rock, whereas the Uteractor's move will be randomly generated. And it will be going for free, but because of that Dino Illusion, the Uteractor will not take any damage. Dealt the Dromius looking strong here, but can he close the deal or can the Uteraptor claw their way back? Oh, the Uteraptor gets off the hit and an Anyan Gera dive. Is this the break Uteraptor needed? Well, this has definitely been a closer match than, some, than the previous ones. I mean, not too surprised because these two are quite evenly matched. Ooh, the Delta Dromius gets off a hit. Oh, but it's not enough to finish off Uteraptor yet. Oh, but this tie will do it. Yep, yeah, that tie will do it and signal the end for Uteraptor. Now, oh, that's kind of a shame. You know, I, love, I love most of these wind dinosaurs. It's a shame most of them are going home in the first round, but oh well. The Delta Dromius makes it four out of four for the bronzes. And the Uteraptor is surprisingly sent packing. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the format now. So give me a sec while I sort the table. Well, that looks interesting, didn't it? All four bronzes successfully making it through to the quarterfinals. So up here, we will see the Afrovenator taking on Rugops. And then it's Ceratosaurus going up against Delta Drom. And that will end our first win Wicked Wind video tournament thing here. 
So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time where we will do Fukui Raptor against Mononophosaurus, Neovenator versus Carnotaurus, Lillian Sternus versus Alpha Allo, and you strap the spondylus taking on Sign Raptor. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>